Welcome to ZZZ TV. Kindly subscribe, share, and like for latest updates and news. What me? It is about our country, Nigeria, and your future. It is about the kind of society we want to live for the next generation and what kind of example we want to set for our children and their children. It is about the reputation of Nigeria and Nigerians in the eyes of the world. We showed incontrovertible evidence that Bola Etinibu was not qualified to contest the presidential election because he forged the qualifying academic certificate which he submitted to INEX. In fact, a simple check on Tinibu's past records in his possession would have shown INEX that Tinibu broke the law and should not have been allowed to contest the election in the first place. We show irrefutable evidence of gross irregularities, violence, and manipulations during the elections. We showed incontrovertible evidence that INEC violated the Electoral Act and deliberately sabotaged its own publicly announced processes and procedures in order to illegally declare Tinubu elected. The position of the Supreme Court, even though final, leaves so much unanswered. The jury, as it has done. If the Supreme Court, the highest court in the land, implies by its judgment that crime is good and should be rewarded, then Nigeria has lost and the country is doomed irrespective of who occupies the presidential seat. If the Supreme Court decides that the electoral umpire, INEC, can tell the public one thing and then do something else in order to reach a corruptly predetermined outcome, then there is really no hope for the country's democracy and electoral process. Obviously, the consequences of those decisions for the country will not end at the expiration of the current government. They will last for decades. I am absolutely sure that history will vindicate me. We now know what the Supreme Court has decided. At critical points in my political life, I always ignored the easy but ignorable path in choosing the difficult but dignified path, the path of truth, of morality, of democracy, and the rule of law. I always chose freedom over servitude. Whatever the personal discomforts, my choice and pains. When I joined politics, the critical challenge was easing the military out of power so that civilian democratic governance could be restored in Nigeria. It later became a very defining struggle. And as one of the leaders of that struggle, I was targeted for elimination. In one instance,